This is Josiah Plays Pillars of Eternity. So, I'm back. Uh, I'm back to do one more episode, one more two hour block of gameplay. And when I do that, that will make a 48 hour total stream of this game. And without me taking any break longer than... I took two approximately 15 minute break, 15 minute breaks during the whole thing and and several like little two, three, four minute breaks also but other than that I was streaming the entire time playing this game the entire time so that is gonna be <laughs> broken into two hour episodes that's gonna be what 24 episodes of two hours long each and I am only a small fraction of the way through the game so there's so much left to do so I'm gonna play for a couple more hours here and um let's do this so right now I got some revenants that are acting up where the hell is he going well come here hey, if you yes. want you want to come over here yes. all crazy like hey all right well we can go good. ahead Thank you so much for you and blind you. Whoa! Oh, it's cool. It's okay. Do the revenants? Oh, I, I just remembered something. Just remembered something. Revenant's a new creature for me. I can read about it. I can read about revenants right in combat with revenants. Wow, it's a skeleton picture. That's weird. So. Says they're level one. Hmm. Revenants are undead that have devolved beyond even the relative intelligence of a ghoul. Revenants retain their instinctive hunger, but they don't have the will or intelligence to reliably satisfy it. They are drawn to any environment where dead or dying bodies can be found. Okay, so revenants are not cooler versions of ghouls. They're more like degenerate versions. Okay. Cool. Well, we got a ghoul running at us all crazy. Hey. Let's tank it up. Ooh, skeletons too, huh? Alright, there's a lot of undead coming our way. So here's what I want you to do. What? Durance, gonna need you to interdict some stuff. And who's she attacking? I thought, you don't need to worry about that revenant so much right now. Got kind of got bigger fish to fry. And there's more revenants. There's all kinds of vent dead coming. How may I help? Go ahead and drop this on them. Hmm. And. Do we want a mind blaze or we want we want a mental uh dazed? Let's do that. Yes. He's got something well. to do. She's got something to do. What? He just did um that, so. Let's, let's bring Kana forward to attack this person. This is a wow. It's a lot of undead pouring out of this room. Um, huh? Do I want him to knock something down? Yeah, actually, I want him to knock this ghoul down. On your word. Oh, oh, he's got three. Light him up with a lot of lightning. What? Okay, so now I want How may I him help? to, of course, do this. But then I want Durance 
to come forward and I want you to holy radiance the shit out of this shit. And then Serafina. Why don't you just go ahead and drop mind blades in there? Let's see what happens. <laughs> that lightning was amazing. The mind blades was amazing. Wow, we just made shorts work of those. Of course. That was a lot of undead, and we tore them to pieces very, very quickly. Hello. Good job. Hello? Skeletons even have weapons. Um, I think we're at the point what? where we should probably be it? resting soon. I? Right? I mean, I used up a lot of spells and stuff. And I still have my summon. And my Crucible of the Soul, which never works. How may I help? Alos still has very little in the way of spells. Yes. What? Same with Durance. On your word. So okay. if we get to a hard fight with this few spells, it could be a problem. Of course. That's all I'm saying. Hey. hey. All right then. Is that just like one revenant that was? Oh, oh. All those we just fought, and there's like more in here. Like, this is like, this was a room full of undead. Apparently. Okay. Okay. So, let's. Well. Bust caps. Here come ghouls. Huh? Drop the hammer. Fine blades. Holy Radiance. Eh? She just shot a ghoul for 58 with her um, Arbalest. Now I kind of want to watch and see like... Oh, what the hell is Kana doing besides faffing about? What is it? What? Like, I want to see how long it takes her to reload the Arbalest and shoot again. She's like, slowly winding it up. Okay, well, we're kicking some ass in here now. And what does the flame reveal? This is not good water, like, I should not be in this water. Ew. This is sliggin- what's that? Oh, black hound. This is some sliggin water. What act you in, bud? I am in act one. I am in... Redrick's hold still. I haven't even gone and gotten, uh, Cadnua, my, my own stronghold yet. And I've played for over 40 hours. <laughs> So, that will tell you ha how fast I play these games. I am, I am pretty much a speedy, speedy guy. <laughs> okay, wait. 
I think I'll go this way, sure. Where all the undead be? Guess that's a dead end for now. Look at this. Oh hey. What is it? Handle it. Cool, I got another dart trap. She's so good. All right then. At least I'm finally starting to find some legit traps. What's that? Oh, a black ooze. Okay. Question is, is it just a black ooze or is it like 42 other oozes right here? I'm guessing it's the latter. Nice job keeping on with POTD. POTD? What is it? Okay. Yes. Eh? What? Following your lead. Hey. Path of the Dan. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh I'm gonna finish it on Path of the right, There's no question. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. No question. I mean I'm not playing Iron Man, so it's not like I if I die once it's over. I am I'm you know, reload my save or whatever. But uh Okay, so this is that room I was just in, yeah? Yeah, that revenants and ghouls that I left behind in my wake. Okay, we'll check out behind that door in a second. I wanna see if there's anything lurking right down this hallway. What's in here? I see something. Hey, a trap. Yes. Get it done. Ooh, she got a new kind of trap. Dart trap. Bounding missiles trap. Upon being triggered, this trap loses a series of arcane projectiles in the direction of its victim. Upon striking the missiles, seek out a second additional target, though they rapidly lose their momentum with each subsequent hit. So basically it shoots... Oh, Minaletta's bounding missiles, essentially. Out of a trap. Man, I'm getting a nice little trap collection going here. When I get into a crazy hard fight where I need to do some cheesy shit, I will set a bunch of traps. Oh, where does this ladder go to? Oh, this probably goes up to the top of the tower where you saw, where you saw that, um... Yeah, lower ramparts where you saw that... Ooh, another belt of bountiful healing. Really? Iron skin, get in the box. Bountiful healing, I'll take it. So that's... He's got the healing thing. He's got the healing thing. Does anyone else even do anything remotely like healing? The fighter does. But the fighter... Can't spare anything for it. Oh, 
Let's hold on to it for now. Of course. What's in here? Oh, ale spirits and cheese. Ale spirits and cheese. Hmm. Who's your master of ale carrying? Yeah. And spirits? So yeah, I'm gonna go up to the roof, or up to the ramparts over there. To see what I can see. Oh! There's enemies right here. Captain of the Captain of the Guard. Really? Okay. I have a feeling they're about to spot us. Of course they are. Okay. Hey. Need you. Wow. Really glad I came up here right now. Okay, you need to settle down. These people are doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Okay, now, he's got them kind of occupied. Yes. We need to kind of move away here. Where's this guy going? What is it? Okay. Hey. Now. Here's how we're gonna do this. Yeah. Now's the time to use the horn. Hi. And now's the time to drop some arcane assault. What? And now's the time. To interdict. Following your lead. That's the time. Huh? Alright, he's on the captain, but maybe he shouldn't be, really. He should be helping to kill off some of these weaker ones first. Yes? There we go. We got three. We got f three phrases. Light them up. What? Holy radiance. We'll do that. Following your lead. Hey, he's doing his thing. What All is right, it? she needs to pick a target and start killing. I think it's gonna be this archer first. Hi. Drop an arcane assault in hey. there. And what am I gonna do? I'm gonna mind blades, I think. That 52 was from my Arbalest. What? Drop a heal. Yes. Would you kill him? Well. Is that archer dead already? Yeah. Hi? 
Where is he? How may I help? What can I cast? It's just Necrotic Lance, the captain. Hmm. And I still have quite a bit of... Just, let's just mind blades. <laughs> Who did we just jib? That cell sword. Another quick heal. What is it? Yes. Hey. Well. Hi. What is he? Oh, Aleph is right there. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna Grimoire slam this guy because why not? Yeah. to the rifle. Let's finish this guy off. How may I help? What is it? Following your lead. I have three. He's stunned. This guy's necrotic lanced. Hey. Yes. What is it? Yeah. Did I miss with the gun? Yeah, I did. Alright, switch back to the Arbalest. Yes? What is it? Hmm? Alright, well, this should be over pretty quickly. And it is. Now I'm definitely ready for a rest. We got a couple of people fatigued. We've used up all our stuff. More bow, saber, 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 spear, 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 hello. Sword. Fine scale armor is nice. Captain of the Guard didn't have a special weapon of some sort. He just had that regular sword, I think. Okay. I'll see what I can find. What's this? The canisters are filled with wet, clumped gunpowder. Hmm. Oh, hey, there's more guys up here. <laughs> one, one guy by himself. Okay, great. What is it? 
Hi? Yes? Hmm? Eh? Nice shot for 50 from the Arbalest. Nice and quiet. Of course. This is just one last little section here, huh? Fine flail, cool. The bottom stage of the barrels are dark but dry. Whatever these barrels held leaked out long ago. And I guess that is a dead end. Really, no secret hidden stuff, hmm? That I can detect. Okay. That was cool. A little bonus fight. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and use a camping supply. I don't even care. Ah. Uh, okay, what I meant to say is, I'm gonna go back up the steps and use a camping supply. Oh no, I'm having disturbing dreams of Atra pillars and whatever this purple shit is. Okay, cool. Now I'll go back in. Okay, so I see very good on this dark ass map, but oh look, there's a black ooze over there. Wait, was that blue black ooze there before? Well, it doesn't really matter if it was there before or not, honestly. Hey. Oh, let's make it. Let's make it come around the corner to us if we can. Hey. How may I help? Yes. Hmm. Yes. What? Got it. Hey. Following your lead. What? You can try on your word. This is a lot of unnecessary s setup for uh, on your this, word. One, this one. <laughs> Ooze, I'm not really sure what I'm even doing yeah. right now. Word. Yes. Catro, get over here. Hi. Eh? No problem. Okay, yes. let's just do this. Me not that kind of orc! Work, work! <laughs> yeah, Warcraft orcs are amazing. Work is the poop! 
Okay, let's... Well, I don't need to get that close to shoot an arrow. Just... Oh. Before you can see it. Blind it. And run over here. Why don't you come on in here, Mr. Ooze? Oh, it's just gonna stand there and do some huh? bullshit, isn't it? Fine, go get it. What? Yes? How may I help? Hmm. What is it? easy enough. I don't know why I had to try to set up all crazy. Yeah. What's up, Jay Destiff? Stratagamo? Dronsk? Goodmeister? All kinds of cool people here today. I'll take care of it. Keeping an eye out. Let's get some... Ooh, wait. The black ooze had silver inside of it? That's weird. Never seen an ooze have money. It's pretty cool. Was oh, this at that end? No, I guess it's not. There's a room here. Okay. What is it? Do your I'll scouting thing. I see something. Oh look, a trap. That's why we send you. Let's take that trap. What did I get? An arrow trap. This mechanism allows for the firing of an arrow toward a designated position. A simple but highly effective means of discouraging intruders. Let's see, it. This is a decent amount of damage. I'll take it. Add it to the trap collection. What is it? What's that? Oh, it's another revenant. Okay, hold on. Anything that? Oh, it's another ooze. Hey, revenant, buddy. I got. I got a. I just wanted to. Wow, she's probably just gonna be able to stand here and solo this thing. It's where the fuck is it going? Okay, yeah. Cool. Oh, that's easy enough. Quickly and quiet. Ooh, a vessel bone. One of the bones to which a soul desperately clung and now holds only traces of the life it held. What's going on up here? There's something ahead. There's a decent amount of traps down here now. You failed to disarm it. What? Hold on. So this is a hard one, huh? Probably need that. To, when's she gonna level up? Seriously, you know, it's gonna be a little while still. I need that the um, the buff from the inn back in town. There's something ahead. What the fuck? That's not. I clicked on it for you to disarm. I oh yeah. It's actually it's actually way past 42 hours now. I, eh, well, I'm at 46 is where I'm at. I'm going for 48, so a couple hours from now, really more like an hour and a half, hour and 40 minutes from now, I will be at 48. 48 hours that I've been streaming. What's up, Clanky Balls? Good name. Yeah, no sleep. Streaming the entire time. <laughs> what? Uh, she... Fuck. Well, that's what not what it? was supposed to happen. Oh, and now she's made friends. Ooh, and a Maoist skeleton. That's not good. Revenant. Okay. I'm gonna need you to run. <laughs> oh, 
she's getting oh and they're running like faster than her okay can we can we do something here can we can we interdict well he, now I need him to cast a heal can we okay. um in some way Oh, well, that didn't do really any good for anyone. Okay. Well, at least oh, make right. him come around the corner. Okay. Okay. There. Just go deal with this shit. On your word. My thief just got fucked up. This is the second stream I've watched of Pillars of Eternity, so this game is pretty fun, huh? But I have to be to stream for two days straight, yeah. Yeah, well, I've been waiting for this game for a really long time. Okay. Hmm. Seraphina, why don't we, why don't we fuck some shit up down here? Yes? On your word. That is a great huh? invocation. Hmm? Following your lead. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. On some. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you're winding up the. Is that a cipher? Yeah, this character here. That's my main character. The one in the white robe with the crossbow. That is a cipher. Cool, hit for 39. Rogue, that's almost dead. Why don't you bring your ass back here to safety? Yeah. Alright. What is it? Yes. What? Following your lead. Huh? I really like it. It's a really cool class. All right, then. Hello? Hello? I can't believe I, my rogue did that shit. Well, trip. I'll take care of it. How about we... Could we just... Could you just disarm this, please? Apparently not. Okay. It's the first thing we've come across that she couldn't disarm. But see, she's one level b beneath the party. Because she, she's a hired... from the Hired from the inn. The rest of these are the proper companions. My character is this cipher. But this is a, a hireling, so... She has to be one level lower than us. So that's why uh, her, her rogue skills aren't quite up to par. Oh, hello, Black Ooze. I ain't really got yeah. a lot of patience for your bullshit. What is it? Blind it. Hi? Nuke it. Mm. Attack it. Following your lead. Attack it. Hey. Knock it down. Hmm. Paralyze it. Let's call it a day. Oh shit! I just ran right into that trap like an idiot. Face rolled that trap. 
Uh, hello? Hello? Of course. Well, that'll teach me to go charging into a hallway that I haven't scouted first. It's a good thing that didn't do a lot more damage. Like, the one that hit her up in the hallway did like 99 damage. <laughs> it was crazy. I'm playing at Path of the Dam difficulty, which is the hardest. You actually can set up hotkeys. Um, huh? I just haven't done it. Like, I'm pretty sure... Like, let's say... Well, I gotta make sure... What isn't being used for anything? Okay, the number keys aren't being used for anything. So I think what I would do... Yes? And you set them up per character. Yeah. Like, if I want to set up Knockdown, I think I can just hold down the one key over it. No, that didn't work. Maybe I hold down Shift and the one key? No. Maybe I can't use the one key. Is there... Hmm. You do something like that. You can definitely do it, though, because I did it in the, in the beta. Yeah, it worked. Except I accidentally hotkeyed it to left control rather than the thing I wanted to hotkey it to. Which is <laughs> shitty. And then I don't remember how you get rid of a hotkey. Oh, like that. I just hit delete. But how did I... Oh, I can't use the number keys because that those are already shortcuts for selecting your party members. Yeah, duh. Huh? So if I want to select something for knockdown, like... I gotta see here. I gotta remember what's not bound to anything. I know Q and E are, W, A, S, and D are. I, I rebound those to the mouse scrolling. Z and X are. C is. R? What is R? Does R do anything? Okay, F is formations, but I give a shit about formations being on its own thing, so. Um. Doesn't look like R is anything. Right? And actually, C doesn't have to be character sheet. I can use K for that. I use K for it in a lot of... Um, a lot of other games. So now I, now I have R, F, and C, which are uh, open. And so on each character, I could go in here yes. and I can be huh? like, Hey, I want... Oh, there it is. Done. On your word. And for him, I want R to be, you know. That my, um. That. Mm. For him. Yes. Mm. I want R to be interdiction. What is it? Yeah, I'm glad I... F1 to F10. I thought that, well, some of those are bound to stuff already. Like F5 and F8 for sure are bound to quick save and quick load. And I think some of the other ones might be something too. Well, see, I like keeping my fingers, because I can't edge scroll, because I'm using two monitors and it screws it up. So I like keeping my fingers on or near WASD. See, I have Q and E bound to my, my slow mode and, and space to pause. So things I can reach without moving my fingers too far away from WASD, that's why I picked RF and C, because those are 
right there. How do you know how many hours on a game somebody has on Twitch? So anyway, yeah. What? This kind of demonstrated, yes. but now I'm kind of huh? glad I figured out how to do that. What is it? All right, so I can make our blinding strike for her. Yes. And I can make our arcane assault for mm -hmm. him. And I can make our, say, mental binding for her. That's cool. So that's like my most hey. used ability, basically, yes. on each on each character. Mm. Well. And then I can make F my second most used ability on each character. Hey. Like, of course, he doesn't have any other abilities besides knockdown, but um, on your word, he does. So F could be his, and C could be his skeletons, mm. and for him. F could be his holy radiance. Oh, and then he has all these spells, which I guess I don't really use any of these super often enough that it needs its own. Yes. F for the grippling strike, though. Yes. F for the grimoire slam. Hmm. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Huh? I kind of totally forgot you could do that until you mentioned it, so that's awesome. I like this game for it, so I look for him on Twitch. You're the most advanced, says G Gobblau. But when you look for the game on Twitch, how do you. You can't tell, like, how many total hours somebody has streamed a game, can you? How do, how do you do that? Okay, anyway. Let's kill some more. Oh, we got a couple oozes at least. Yes. We're stealthed, right? Yeah, we are. Okay, let's quick save. I use that key a lot. <laughs> um, well, I only see two so far. Oh, shit! There's far more than two. It is fucking ooze-tastic in there. Well, if I'm gonna have a bunch of oozes coming my way. We are not going to fight them right here. We're going to make them all come to this choke point right here. Hey. Come on. Hmm? Oh, did they give up? Oh. No. Of course. He's just standing there now. Fight. Fight. Aim and sound. Oh. There's two of them there now. But I think I can get those two without you know, the whole friggin' room full of them. Or I'm totally wrong, because there's a whole lineup of them. Alright, let's just, let's just calm down a second. Well, Go of with course. the bow. Come here. <laughs> Around the corner now. Hey. Following your lines. No. What? They, they, they gave up again? Oh, come on. I ain't got time for this. Get your ass in here. Fine, you know what? Fuck it. Come on, team. Let's do this. Hey. Don't care. Now I'm gonna forget to use the hotkeys all the time, though. 
Well, you get two rests. You get two. You can get two, just like on hard mode. But I gotta tell you, Path of the Damned is a lot harder than hard. Because not only do you get all the maximum spawns of all the more advanced creatures and stuff, but everything, all their stats are increased by like 50%. So, I mean, they hit harder, they have more health, they have higher defenses, and they have higher accuracy and everything. So it's pretty hard. All right, let's Hi. just... No, don't spit that hmm. shit at me. I'm gonna try to charm a news. Because... You know? Because why not? Meanwhile, following your lead. Get in here. What? Yes. Eh? Yes. Did it work? Where the hell is my my character? Or is she still casting it? She is so still casting. Missed with the charm, that's stupid. What's its will? Oh, oozes have 66 will. Okay, that seems legit. I thought hard was two and path was one. Is anyone from Europe in here? Um, well, I'm not from Europe, I can tell you that much. Et Wu is apparently from Europe, so hey. Okay, what's going on? Alright, let's just let's just mm -hmm. kill everything. How does that sound? Mind blades go. Yes. Well. Mm. Following your lead. Hey. 
Well. Hi. Eh? Plasma, yum. Of course. It's 5 p.m. in Romania, really. I'm getting absolutely wrecked sometimes in normal mode, so how on earth are you supposed to do a Path of the Damned Iron Man run solo to get the achievement? I'm pretty sure it's going to involve playing a rogue and, like, avoiding as much combat as possible, sneaking around, solving as many quests as you can without actually having to fight, and, um... That way you can level up before you really have to fight real shit and uh, that sort of thing. I was actually able to do that pretty well in the backer beta, which is only a tiny piece of the game, but still in the backer beta I took a solo rogue and completed every quest in it and leveled up to the cap of the backer beta with a solo rogue in Path of the Damned. So that was interesting. So I figured that would be how I would attempt to do it because the cool thing about the rogue you get shadowing beyond it's like your it's like your oh shit button you can uh torment's my favorite game of all time crow's deck wait i thought there were a bunch more of them in here oh well, there's one more at least there's another one oh whatever hey. just just go Following your lead. Yes. Eh? Of course. Romania, huh? Hey, everyone. Well, there's a lot of people in my chat right now. That's weird. I've never really had more than... I mean, until just like the last day or so. I've never had more than about five or six people in my chat. Now all of a sudden... What is this? It's not trap? Okay. Oh, Moonstones. Thanks. That's where I keep my moonstones, generally, is in a giant pile of whatever the fuck that is. Searching for hidden shit. Hidden shit? No? Come on. No, the loot is definitely not, is, the loot's definitely not better. You get, it's not like Diablo. You don't get any better rewards for playing on a harder difficulty. You just get a harder game. What's up, Revenant? Well, I'm trying to be a Revenant on the street. Just kill it. Of course. 
Ogryn's fire casts light in dark places. Hey, oh, that's the guy we're here, we're down here to look for to like rescue or whatever. I'll pick this lock. Get a little XP for that for free. Okay, cool. So there's some more to this place I haven't explored yet, but let's. Blood is smeared on the wall in the vague shape of letters. Whatever it once said has been obscured by a crimson handprint. Really? I'll have to take your word for it. I see something. See? Boom! That's why I sneak around in scouting mode and go into all the little rooms and stuff, because that's how you discover hidden items. Look what I found. Magic items and, all, and gems and anything. Another belt of... I keep finding these belts of bountiful healing. That's a lot. Anyway, cool. Oh yeah, I can pick this lot. What's to say? A few bloodied fingerprint, fingernails are embedded in the dirt. Ah, oh, so people are like trying to claw their way out of here and... Vessel bone, thank you. I'm probably the top English speaking player for this game, so I'm getting a boost. Really, that's weird because I thought tons of people were streaming this game. They were, at least. I've been streaming, this is no joke, like where it says up there, whatever it says, 40 some odd hour stream on my thing title, that's that's not a joke. Like right now, I am an hour shy of 48 hours streaming this game. Awake, me, just me, 48 hours. Okay, here's the guy, Jaco. Let's quick say before we talk to him. Okay. This young man's face is badly bruised, and his gaunt form is covered in a threadbare shirt. He watches you shivering, with a measure of hope in his eyes. I don't know who you are, but will you help me? Adair looks pained. Our noble lord at work. He gazes nervously past you at the open cell door. Ah, I, I don't, I don't think I can find my way out. I take it you ended up here after assaulting the keep with Korsk and his men. Yes. He looks away. It seemed a good plan. We got in without accident, and I knew the way. But we were surprised in the dungeons, and most of us... Jacko shudders. You'll have seen some of them. Fought them. Their bodies, at least. Not their minds anymore, but their souls. The woman down here... Radric's animancer. Her name is As Osria. I've heard her speaking sometimes, talking about a cure. Lord Radric calls on her often. But she's not curing anyone. She's only turned men and women into monsters. He shudders. I watched her take the others. I was sure I'd be next. Alice shakes his head. Men and women turn to this evil to cure Hollowborn. Madness. Tell me about Osira. Or Osria, as it might be. There's something not right about her. A bad feeling, I mean. I knew the moment she arrived, things would take a turn for the worse. He shivers. There's nothing good comes of dealing with animancers. Unnatural, a lot of them. She's the one who transformed them, changed my friends into monsters, said she was doing it for the good of Gilded Vale. Jacko clinches a fist. More like the good of her coin purse and her sick curiosity. She's dangerous, and who knows what else she's got in her laboratory. I wouldn't go in there. She... she has a convincing manner. Spells, no doubt. You must be Jaco. Nedmar sent me to find you. Nedmar? 
Jacko gives a quiet laugh of disbelief. <laughs> the priest sent you? I thought... Well, I thought he'd leave me here to rot. He wasn't too happy when I left the keep. I told him I could do far more good with Kolsk than as an acolyte. He accused me of joining a band of outlaws. Jacko looks down at his feet. I guess we were both wrong. What can you tell me about Nedbar? Nedmar's been a father to me, really. My actual father was a traitor, and he died in a bandit raid when I was young. I don't remember him much. I remember the days after, though, stuck here in Gilded Vale begging for food. Nedmar was a priest of the Scattered God back then. He took me in and raised me in the church. I was going to follow in his footsteps, even after he converted and we turned to the Twinned God. But I started seeing what was happening to Gilded Vale, what Raedric was doing. And Nedmar, he, he just kept on saying that things would work out, that we had to stand by the Lord of the Keep. Kolsk was the only one who seemed to be willing to do anything about it instead of, well, preaching. He smiles sadly. So that's two fathers I left behind. You're free. Make a run for it. Thank you, stranger! I have to get back to the fork, but first some food and rest, I think. Tell Denmar, well, tell him I still have the carving of the Pale Knight he gave me as a boy, and that I hope he is well. And boom, I got some more positive reputation with Gilded Vale. Good luck, and may the gods keep you safe. And I told you to run, don't just casually saunter out of the dungeon, bro. Laboratory. <laughs> What's going on, Jay Destiv? All right. So yes, that's part of the reason my thing takes so long. I I read and like try to voice act every single dialogue in the game. I read every book. I read every text. I read every description of every monster and god and lore. I've read everything. That so I, so it takes me forever to play because I do that. Alright, we rescued him. And now our quest, I've rescued Giacco from his cell. Uh, Alright, so all I have to theoretically do is go back up and talk to him. But, I also explore everywhere. I don't just do what I need to do for the quest, I explore every inch of every map that I possibly can. I shall be quiet as a calm sea. Which is not very quiet. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, looks like this is the trap that I can't disarm, sadly. I see something. Okay, everybody slow your roll. Well? Can you get this done, please? There's something ahead. I know. What did I get? Arrow trap? Cool. Get the next one. Another arrow trap. All right then. Unless there's like a friendly room. Oh, it's perfectly safe. And then I walk in there and like horrible shit happens to me. Or not, you know. Let's see the other way this can go. There's a crate. Ooh, camping supplies. Cool. I need those. And I also quick save like every 30 seconds. Let's see, what did you say here? Zengrath. Hi, Zengrath. Hi, Sir Fozzy. Uh, anyone notice the devs that made this game made Fallout New Vegas under Bethesda? But now made this game under Par they didn't make this under Paradox Interactive. They that they, that's not their publisher. They have no publisher. They made this independently, solely with funds from Kickstarter. Then they then they partnered up with Paradox later just to handle the physical distribution of the game. So the, they're not they're not under Paradox. Now when you say they were under Bethesda, that was true, because Bethesda was their publisher. But in this case, it's not it's not like that.
I mean, most of the games, in fact, probably every game Obsidian's made before this were in the traditional studio and publisher model, where the publisher was was funding and pretty much running the show. But this is a this is a game they made entirely on their own, based on Kickstarter. They have no publisher. Really? That that crazy locked chest and all's in there is some jank ass hide armor? Okay. People will lock up anything, I guess. Uh, Alright, well there's a door here that I think I'm pretty curious about. I think I better quick save. It's been like 10 seconds since the last time. Beer, spirits, and poultry. Okay, so th this leads to... Where does this lead to? To the Keep Kitchen, okay. I, I know where those where that leads to. I've been to the other end of that staircase. Hi, Daisy Alfer. Hi, Drunsk. Hi, everybody else. See what's behind door number three. Okay, we got some hostiles up ahead. Uh oh, we're starting to get tired already. Come on. Well, they're being tired every five seconds. Hmm. What do we got? Oh, well, this looks like a friendly assemblage. What is? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> they're doing some creepy shit. Better quick save. Quick save for creepy shit. All right, there's a lot of undead in this room. Got ghouls, we got skeletons, you got a revenant. Let's look around a little bit more, see what else we can see. Could you could you stop detecting me, please? That'd be great. I'll take care of it. Okay. Well, I don't know what all is in there. I'm gonna pull everything out of the room. Y'all. I want y'all to come back. This is come back to this choke point up here. No, what, no, that's not what you're supposed to do. Get over there, and she well. will bring the fun to you. You say, Zengrath says, so it's possible Bethesda could still be making a new Fallout and possibly still be using these devs. I just hope that Bethesda isn't going to use someone else and possibly completely change the Fallout game. Um, yeah, I have no idea, of course. But, um... You know, the Obsidian, most of the people that work at Obsidian used to work at Black Isle Studios, and they were the people who made the first two Fallout games. So, you know, th this is... What is it? When they worked on New Vegas, it was like they are working on their game again, basically. Alright, can we just shoot a thing and go about our business here? Okay, no, you don't have to walk... You, you have a fucking bow. You don't have to walk 20 yards into the room. Oh god, they're coming. They're coming for me! Ow. You know, it hurt. Alright, hey. Alright, fighter. Earn your pay. Yeah, you're not gonna go any further, kids. Now, let's start laying it down. Hi? Wizard, throw one of these down. Eh? Following your lead. Hey. Well. 
How may I help? What? Alright, let's get up here. How may I help? Huh? You're not getting through me. Okay. That was pretty flawless, I guess. You won't see me coming. Alright, some junk. Okay. As you wish. What? What? Well, there's more in here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, Daisy Alpha asks for pistols, a viable weapon in this game. Can you make a character who just fights with pistols? You need no pistols are really good, actually. Um, my main character here was using I was using a pistol and an arquebus because the thing is the thing about firearms is they take a long time to reload. So, like, the cool thing to do is, as many weapon slots as you have, is put a different firearm in each one, whether it be an arquebus or a pistol, so that you can shoot it once and then switch to your other weapon, which is still loaded. But then I found this rad arbalest, so I'm using this and the, and the arquebus, too. Because it just, it does more damage than the pistol, but... Wait. Oh, yeah. That's not the carrot. I'm on the, uh... How many are in here? Is it just this one revenant? Because this is the only one in there. I'm just gonna kill it. So much for you. See, rugs are awesome. All right, rest of the team, come on in. Yes. Scrolls and uh, oop. My main character is a cipher. This is this rogue here is also a character that I made because I hired him at the hired her at the uh, at the inn. The others are all like actual story companions of the game. Blood and flecks of dried flesh encrust the restraints. Ew. The tank is warm to the touch. The glass vibrates with the bubbling fluid inside. Hmm. Can't say I'm a huge fan. Oh, I get to read a book. This stream is basically like reading Rainbow, but with occasional combat. Okay. So. Let's see. Boom. 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 I got a book. I read all the books. Reading Rainbow with Blood and Gore mixed in. <laughs> what Reading Rainbow was missing, it got cancelled after all those years. Yeah, but it had LeVar Burton, though. Hi, Obob MTG. Here we go. House Dominal. House Dominal. What can be said about House Dominel that isn't whispered fearfully in a back room over the dim light of a dying fire in fear that the wrong set of ears will hear it? The Dominel history is colorful and violent, exciting and more than a little bloody. The Dominels were a small, Adiran family that dealt almost exclusively in textiles. They made a modest living, slowly gaining reputation for having high quality product. This reputation earned them connections, business, social, and sometimes marital. It solidified their position as the premier family of the region. If you wanted access to anyone, the Dominels were the way to do it. 
Soon every city had a business that was owned, at least in part, by the Dominals. Their power and influence grew until many said the family had more power than even the Ferconing of Ethir. But with the power came the corruption. One cannot have that level of control and expect to keep it through strictly legal means. Soon, rumors were spreading of threats and extortion. Though it cannot be proven, the unofficial report is that the Dominels were responsible for the death of Trindig Brynwyrr, which left his entire shipping empire in the hands of his wife, Udell Dominel Brynwyrr. With their hold on the land practically secured, the Dominels no longer stuck to the shadows, brazenly eliminating opponents, manipulating deals, and threatening anyone who might cause them a problem. Because they now dominated the trade route, no one dared oppose them any more for fear their business would be strangled. Like most empires, though, not even theirs could last forever. The end came during the War of Defiance. Unlike most of the land, the Dominels threw in with Adir instead of Admeth Hadrit. After the defeat of the Empire and the destruction wrought on the land during the war, not even the Dominels could rebuild what they had. And, having history show them on the wrong side of the war, no one would touch the name. The domain that took years to build crumbled in mere months. Today, the Dominels have once again built a name for themselves, proving they are still capable and savvy business people. Rumors about the family still circulate, though. Word is, members of the family are striving to lift the family from its current obscurity and elevate it to the level of power it once held. And I happen to know that this is more than just background book, like, that these are people that you interact with in the game, they're like a relevant faction, and you can choose to piss them off, or you can choose to friend, befriend them. With different results, of course. Okay, had to quick save, because, you know, quick save after reading book. Daisy Alfred says, I want to make a main character who is based on a character from a book, and that would mean I would basically only use pistols. The pistol relay time too long for that. No, you can. I mean, you're going to need somebody else to tank for you, probably. If You if you don't want to stand there reloading pistols while you're getting beat on by a bunch of stuff. But, yeah, if the more weapon sets you have, the better. But even with two, you could have a pistol in one and a pistol in the other. And basically what you would do is you'd fire your first pistol, immediately switch to your second pistol, fire that, and then you'd just keep reloading and firing that one pistol over and over. And then after combat ends, you'd switch back and reload the other one too. And if you had more than two weapon sets, you could, you know, cycle through them the same way. But pist just you could use just pistols, definitely. Um, it depends, I mean, you could do it as a rogue, you could do it as, you know any kind of character that's going to use a ranged weapon. So, yeah. It'll take you a little while to find a pistol. You, you won't start the game with pistols, and you won't find any, like, immediately in the beginning of the game. But you can get some pretty soon. Or at least you can get one pretty soon. And then eventually get another one, too. Okay, so I've got a couple different... Oh, wait, this leads back a way that I've already been, right? Yeah, this is where the cells are. Okay. Any other ways? And that goes to the ramparts. I went up there already, fought the captain of the guard. I've been up to the keep kitchen. Is there something over here I have? Oh, there is. There is, there is. What about this room? Or what about this? Okay, so that looks like it leads to a place that I haven't been to yet. Okay, think. Wow, Arvin Eleron. Hey, man. I feel I feel honored to have like an epic streamer like you visiting visiting my lowly channel. How you doing? Thinking about making a ranger, but rogue would probably better fit the concept. Uh, you could do either one. 
I, I would I would tell you that at this point at least rogues are considerably stronger class than yeah. rangers are based on you know balance stuff. But that don't don't get don't take that oh, to right, mean that yeah. you couldn't play a ranger and have fun because oh holy god what did I just walk into while I wasn't paying attention. Okay, wait. Wait. What happened? They didn't they didn't okay. they didn't aggro. All right then. Well, that's good. We're going to we you know what? That we're, we're putting a real save game down. Yeah, Arv, I'm a big fan of of your stuff. I mean, I know you you've seen me in your in your chat. Okay. Before. All right then. Um following your lead. Yeah, Armin Elrond's serious business. You guys should all follow him. He actually had Josh Sawyer, like the lead developer on this game, on his stream with him, interviewing him, like just the other day. He's he's he's, he's not messing around. Okay, so. Hey. All right then. Is this the boss room? Is this where the what's her name? Um, the Animancer. It's kind of looking like the boss room. Okay, hold on. Yes. Need. You need to be course. super sneaky. Okay, yeah. They're not aggroed yet because this is one of those things where I have to have a conversation with her before her massive army of minions comes and destroys me. Because there she is. Am I ready for this? No, I gotta rest before I do this. What? I've used up, what I've used up too yes. many spells. Wait. Hmm? Uh, maybe we're kind of I? full on spells actually, but I got a couple of people what that are fatigued it? and hurt now. I'm resting okay. before I before I mess with this room. I'm just going to close the door, <laughs> and we will come back to that room a little bit later. Well, yeah, Dronsk, there is a little bit of a um, recovery time from switching weapons. Although, if you really want to, you can take a talent that drastically reduces that. But it's still worth it. You know, it's still worth it in general. Okay, before I go in there, I'm going to check out this other way, and then I'm going to rest... What else was over here? Wait. Oh yeah, so I remember this room. There was slimes and stuff. Or there was undead. And then... That's right, you can go down in the water. That's the other... The other way you can go. And I didn't actually go this way before, because I was like, oh, I don't want to wait in that nasty ship. Probably have to duck out because spoilers, but wanted to say hi. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. I appreciate you uh, stopping by. It's pretty cool. Is that, is that a trap? Maybe I already disarmed a trap here. I suppose I did, because there was definitely a trap here. Okay, so here's a, a room of fun. I can already hear, like, nonsense happening on the other side of that door. Wait. Get back in the water. Oh, hey, what's this? Oh, this is the way out. Well, I gotta check it out, but... If you, this is one of the ways you can sneak into the castle. You can come in through this sewer grate entrance and get in here. Or you can climb up a wall and get up on the ramparts. Yeah! yeah okay. You can get in this way if you want. Like, you're on the outside of the castle. You can get in here, or you can come over here to the out. You can't really tell because it's not light out. Or you can go in the, through the main doors in the courtyard, and there's a million dudes you got to fight in there.
Yeah, well, basically you level up at close to the same rate that you would whether you're in a group or solo. I mean, the p point of playing solo is to deliberately to give yourself a harder challenge because you want to do that. It's not really like the intended way of playing the game, so they're not, they don't like reward it or anything. But if you want to do that, like I'm plan to play either my second or third time through the game, I am gonna play solo rogue, um, because I think it'll be fun. All right, here we go. What's behind door number two? When is my rogue gonna level up? Could you just yes. could you level up at some point? Oh, pretty close. Pretty close. Of course. Wait, that's it? I expected more in here. Potion of Eldritch Aim, that goes to her. A book! Oh, I already read this book! Alright, well. You guys will not be subjected to me reading another book right now because I read that book already. Okay. Don't think there's anything else over here or over here. Nope, I've been in those rooms. Okay, there's no more rooms other than the boss room over here. So what I'm gonna do is rest. I suppose I can rest anywhere. Zengrath, the game does not auto balance anything. It has one difficulty. It does not scale to your level. It does not scale to how many people that are in your group. It only scales to the difficulty level you select when you pick when you start the game. But whether you have one person or six, the difficulty is exactly the same, and the rewards are pretty much the same. Um. So. You don't get anything out of playing with one person or with two people or anything. You just make the game harder for yourself, which is which is its own reward for some people. I'll see what I can find. Let's see. Yeah, but you know that you divide that up, right, Drunsk? You divide that up. If when it says I got 30 XP right there, I didn't each guy didn't get 30 XP. Each guy got 5 because you divide that 30. So if you're solo, it just gives you the 5. It's not really giving you less XP. It's just giving you your one share instead of the amount for everybody to share. Uh, I don't know the answer to that, Sean. I'm sorry. Okay. Let's actually do this now. You know what? I'm saving again. I don't even care. Cool. Here we go. Actually, you know what? I can just the tank go in and talk? Hey. All right, then. Let's see what happens. So what's in the room? Let's take a, a moment to assess. We got Revenant, Ghoul, Ghoul, Ghoul. It's human skeleton. Skeletal wizard. That's a problem. Flesh construct. That's a problem. I don't know what that thing is or what it can do, but I'm scared of it. And then of course her. She's gonna. She's also a wizard. You can tell because she's got a book in her hand. And you know she's a boss, so she's gonna have. Oh, what's this? And a black cat. So. We don't know what kind of nonsense is going to be done here, but I have a feeling it's going to be bad. Uh, no way to respec in this game. No. 
unless you use some sort of mod or yeah cheat program or something apparently she's just really this is interesting they're not even attacking or like for usually like it'll force you into a conversation but I actually get to initiate this hmm well that's cool yes right away Wait. huh A woman, caught mid-step across the room, turns her head to face you. Long curls of black hair frame her face, one side of which is flecked with some green liquid. The gaze she sets upon you holds an eerie intensity. More interruptions. The woman sets down the book she holds, smiling faintly. What an interesting time we've been having of late. So many uninvited guests. I suppose I have you to thank for all the damage to my work. It took time to get these people back on their feet, you know. Osria frowns. What is it you're doing here? Um, let's see. Haha! <laughs> I've come to see Lord Redrick. Osria narrows her eyes, smile widening. Aren't we the bold one? You must be another of Kosk's little rebels. Osria chuckles. Does he recruit you all out of the Black Hound? Ply you with drink? Ask you to ignore the consequences of your actions? No matter. What concerns me is the curse upon Gilded Vale's people. I am on the cusp of a great discovery, and it is not Kosk who undermines me. She eyes you. You might have chosen more powerful allies. I could just go right into the attack, but I'm not going to. What caused Wydwin's legacy? It isn't the superstitions of senile old men, I can tell you that. Osria snorts. The legacy is an affliction of the soul, and I have dedicated my life, alongside my peers, to understanding the fabric of souls, the essence of life. With any luck, she'll hang on that tree alongside her peers, too. Alos's voice is cold. I consider myself the foremost student of Pandgram's fam famed theorems. It wasn't by chance that I was called here to assist in determining the true cause of this blight. This curse is not a parting gift from the scattered god, nor a punishment for petty sins. It must be a localized effect, something which strips the soul from a body as the Beowicks are known to do. Don't tell my town that. They might get real embarrassed about trying to have me hanged. I have detected, even so, lingering traces of essence upon the bodies of so-called Hollowborn. This suggests that the soul itself has not been wholly destroyed. It remains, I think, intact somewhere, and so it can be retrieved sutured, if you will, back into its mortal flesh. Why haven't you been able to find a cure yet? Osri's expression goes cold. It's that fool priest Nedmar, the Baratheon, she sneers. That old man has woven a tidy little tapestry of lies and fables. Lord Radric is a pious man, and Nedmar holds power over him. 
especially now, after this business with Ygrid. As if that hollow-born child was my doing. In any case, my efforts are increasingly hobbled by ignorance. I think you'd have more luck countering these superstitions if your methods weren't so grim. Kana eyes one of the undead warily. They're like having the conversation from out in the other room. <laughs> I wonder if I left him like way on the other side of the map, if the camera would go all the way over to him and all the way back. I bet it would. The priest has focused Lord Radric's attention upon the ruins of the scattered god's temple. If it is consecrated anew, rededicated to Barath, then the curse will be lifted. Osria rolls her eyes. Radric believes him, of course. In any case, he has supplied a vast amount of gold toward the effort. You will note that I am bereft of such generous support. She gestures to her lab with a sweep of her arm. I am left to scrounge for answers in these dismal conditions. <laughs> I can just be like, ah, all right, I'm gonna go. Well, let's... I think it's time. I think it's time to kill. You're as monstrous as the creatures you make. Attack. Osria's smile fades swiftly. Very well. If it's battle you long for, I'm happy to indulge you. Perhaps Lord Radric will show me greater favor if I bring him your corpse as well. Okay. Yep. Things are getting serious. Hmm? Alright. I want you to knock her down. Everybody else is just gonna chill. You handle this, Adair. No, um... I guess everybody come over here. What? I probably should have used some, like, buff things beforehand, but... I want to get in there. I want her to summon her... her little, her little guy. Kana, get in there and, I don't know, beat something up. Wrong. Yes? What is it? Oh, whoa, Kanai, bro. What are you doing? Why are you getting your ass kicked? Oh, she's almost dead. Wow, she was kind of a punk. This fight was not as hard. Well, it's not over yet, but still, I'm saying so far, not as hard as I was expecting. Well. Just put in work. Oh, skeletal wizard. Yeah, he needs to go. He needs to go. Hi. Yes. What? Hmm. Hmm. 
following your lead. we got left here. The flesh construct, which my fighter is tanking admirably. And... That's it. We've killed everything else. Well, that was sort of shockingly easy, really. Hey. Following your lead. Hmm. Well. Yes. Eh. Ingrid! Hey! You finally made it! Hi! Yeah, I've been up this entire time. I'm, uh, oh shit, I'm about 30 minutes away from hitting the 48 hour mark on this stream. Boom. Of course. Yeah, that went surprisingly well. I shall be quiet as a calm sea, which is okay. not very... Okay, the wizard gets her grimoire. Got a bunch of junky stuff. Meat. Just meat. The glistening flesh of some unfortunate creature. We don't... we don't know. We don't know what, and maybe we don't want to. Oh. This cruelly shaped key was rusted for many years of use in Radric's Hold's dungeons. Okay. That's gonna be the end of this episode, but I am not done streaming. Even though I'm gonna be going past the 48 hour mark, I don't even care. So, I'm gonna, um, cut off my recording, um, end this episode for those watching this in the future on YouTube. This has been Josiah Plays Pillars of Eternity.